Hello everybody and welcome back to episode 33 of the Disguise PC LP. So uh, I know there are two more maps in the game. Uh, one is the Hall of Justice and the other is the one after that. So I, I know uh, how much more we have to go. Uh, I'm not sure if I'll be able to get through both of them in one episode. Master Volcanus! Because you were just a trainee, I underestimated you. But now that you've defeated greater demons, as well as angelic sentries, I must recognize your strength. What's going on? He got so serious all of a sudden. Did he hit his head or something? Beats me. These angels, you never know what they're thinking. Um, were you referring to me too? Of course I was. Silence! Where are your manners? Don't you wish to know my true purpose? Your purpose? <laughs> I bet it's just some selfish fantasy. No, if he thought it was necessary to involve the Earth and humankind, then it must be something really important. You are correct. My goal is noble indeed, to become the absolute ruler of the entire universe. Absolute ruler? Aw, oh, gee, I'm disappointed. Like Curtis said, you're just fulfilling a selfish fantasy. No, 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 no. Heavens forbid. It is not for my own benefit. Peace can only be established in the universe under the watchful eye of an omnipotent ruler. Master Volcanus, that is your goal? But peace is not something that can be achieved by the will of one individual. It is only possible when everybody joins hands and works together. You are too naive, Flan. Such a pacifistic approach is doomed to fail because of these deceitful demons and foolish humans. That's not true. Demons and humans are capable of... Silence! What do you know about them? I am all too aware. Their cruelty, their vileness in their hearts. Master Volcanus. He's not going to listen to you, Flan. Well, maybe he'll be more submissive with a little physical persuasion. Uh, Prince, I hope you didn't mean it that way. The time has come. I will eliminate you and deal with the Seraph next. And then I will be a god from this day forth. I shall be known as Volcanus, the Peace Bringer! Okay. So what is the We got these guys. And these guys and these guys. Okay. So we got a bit of a map. Um, okay. Level 70. Okay, these weak guys. Uh, okay. I should be able to deal with them. Just gotta take it slow. Um, yeah, I don't want to rush in and get an eye on So I'm gonna, do, I'm gonna move them out a little bit. Uh, yeah, all the characters I plan on using so I can block them. Probably one of my most expendable 
not sure how much it stacks. Because it also doesn't give me any indication of how much it boosts me by. I know it works. So I'm gonna turn. Die. Okay. guys out and alive to, uh, to keep them, keep everyone in a good point. Okay. Save a bunch of us, Peter, I'm guessing. Enemies are just die. Fun right now. Die. Right now. Die. Die. Die.
child. I do not care that there is a concern with this being. need to survive longer. How much is he moving? What's your move, bud? Your move is five, so you're gonna take a bit. map takes the lead Die. just because of the shape of the map and the, you know, all the walls and stuff. Okay, so you don't like fire.
this angel should not be capable of KO. Okay. Die. Okay. Out of all the people to attack, you chose like the right one. Okay. I'm just gonna shoot her from back here. The tough part about this fight is that you're ca like, you want to let them come to you. You don't want to put yourself in danger trying to extend or them losing any characters. But waiting is also kind of annoying because it takes a bit of time because he only moves uh, five spaces per turn. So I'm actually going to move up a little bit. I'm not going to move up all the way. I'm going to move up enough to... just to get ready. Because I need to take this one very carefully. Um, so let's... Um, I thought she only has brain heart. Okay. Well, that makes it simple. He can watch it first. Harlan and I should be doing bomb ass damage this turn. What I need to do is he doesn't like ice. So I need to come up here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna brave heart them one more time. Because Juan isn't gonna be able to do all that much. So because he doesn't like ice. much as possible. His AI is some of the stupidest I've seen in a long time. Like, damn. I'm sure he has better moves than the ones he's been using, but he just isn't using God, I'm so glad I made you earnest. <laughs> yes. Okay. Kill the level 80. 10,000, 10,000. Awesome. How can this be? My goal, my duty, my dream. They've all been shattered by these heathen. Have you still not realized it, Master Volcanus? You wanted to bring peace to the universe regardless of the means. Even if you had succeeded, could you call it true peace? Please consider us as an example, Master Volcanus. We have worked together to come this far with our hearts united as one. Can this not be considered the first step towards peace? Ha <laughs> ha! Enough of your idealistic rambling. You thought your misguided words would convince me to repent? My beliefs cannot be shaken so easily. The game's not over yet. I'll just convince the Seraph to finish the job for me. You and he can kill each other. <laughs> Bro.
brat! We let him escape! Any normal villain would have been moved to tears by those words and begged for forgiveness. His conviction is strong. He won't change his mind so easily. He intends to start a fight between us and the Seraph. He'll probably make us look like the bad guys and tell the Seraph some horrible lie. How does he come up with all these dirty tricks? It's really too bad that he's an angel. Well, it looks like a battle with the Seraph is inevitable. Are you ready for it, Flan? Yes! I don't know exactly what will happen, but I must tell Master Lamington everything that's on my mind. I know he'll understand. I see. Then tell him straight to his face. I will! Okay, the Sacred Altar is the last uh, stage. So I need to do item... So I have three open ones. I want to keep that. He clears five. is I have to do this because I have to say I need it. That's fine. Is that 510 equipment? 425, 328, 280. 227, 281. Okay, 300, 281. Let's see if I can just get a better weapon in the last. Uh, 100%. Thursday is good to go. Come on, let's do it! Okay, here we go! Master Lamington! Flan? M -M Master Lamington! She is a traitor who has come to take over Celestia with her abominable troops of demons! Stop lying! You're the one who's planning to take over the entire universe! S -s Silence, demon! Hmm. So you are a demon? Not just an ordinary demon. I am Laharl, King of the Netherworld! You are the son of Krichevskoy. I see. Flan. Yes, Master Lamington. Is it true that you are here with these demons to take over Celestia? No, I have come to ask you a question. A question, you say? Yes. A few days ago, the Earth Defense Force led an invasion on the Netherworld. It was fortunate that it failed, but I discovered that angels were involved in the invasion. Please answer me! Were you behind this, Master Lamington? M -m Master Lamington, do not be fooled by her words. All that she has said is a lie. Angels using humans to invade the netherworld? <laughs> that is simply absurd. It's not a lie. I saw it with my own eyes. Without a doubt, they were angels. You are mistaken. The demons must have tricked you. 
While it is true that demons are aggressive by nature, they do not hurt others without reason. My friends here have convinced me of that. <laughs> this is quite unusual, Flung. You, a Celestian, refer to demons as friends and defend their behavior. Master Lamington, at your request, I went to the Netherworld, and there I met Laharl and my other friends. Demons may not be perceived as good. As a matter of fact, they are rather selfish, rude, and cynical. Hey! But... But I have also discovered that they have love and kindness in their hearts. Master Lamington, I remember you telling me that there is no such thing as absolute evil, that even demons have love. As I spent time in the netherworld, I came to realize that you were right. It also occurred to me that perhaps we Celestians have judged demons too harshly. Yep, especially this Volcanus guy. Oh, how dare you! Flan, I see that you have learned many things in the netherworld. Master Lamington! You are not mistaken. What? It is true that Celestians have been blinded by prejudice. Refusing to try and understand our cultural differences, they instead chose to label demons as evil. They convinced themselves that they were the avatars of absolute good and branded demons as absolute evil. Volcanus's choices have been the result of such misconceptions and his concern for the future. I should have been more mindful of these things. Master Lamington! Did you think that I was oblivious to your actions, Volcanus? I am well informed of all that has transpired. <sighs> Angel Trainee Flon. Yes? You have helped save the Netherworld from the invasion of the Earth Defense Force and thwarted the plans of Archangel Volcanus. However, the fact remains that you have harmed other angels. You are to be punished for your sin. I understand. I am prepared to accept any punishment. Wait a minute! Why does Flan have to be punished? It makes no sense whatsoever. She only did what was right. Don't you dare lay a finger on her! You'll be sorry if you do! It's all right. I knew there would be consequences for my actions. Vlan! Master Lamington, I have one final request. I beg of you to forgive my companions. It is I who drew them into all of this. This is crazy, Vlan! Why should you be punished? You've done nothing wrong! Very well. I shall pardon their sins. I am grateful for your kindness. Flan! Thank you, Laharl. I knew I could trust in you. You've taught me the demons do have love in their hearts. This doesn't make any sense to me. We're done here, aren't we? Let's go back to the netherworld. Laharl, I want you to have this pendant. Th stop! That's... Laharl! Hurry up and take it! My hand is burning! Oh, okay! The pendant is telling me that my heart is wicked. That's good to know. That's the pendant we had to look for! You want it to burn me again? Ah! Huh? Hey, something's wrong! It's not doing anything! <laughs> Just as I thought. What do you mean? The wickedness has faded from your heart, Laharl. That's why the pendant isn't punishing you anymore. What? That can't possibly be right! I'm a demon! The Overlord! I'm so glad. I can say goodbye without any worries now. Goodbye? Flan? Hey! Where do you think you're going? Goodbye, Laharl. I hope you become a magnificent overlord. Goodbye, everyone. Thank you so much for everything. Wait! Flan! Goodbye! Flan! Why? 
The existence of Angel Trainee Flan has been erased, along with her sins. Flan! Hey, Flan! What are you doing? I didn't say you could do this! You're going to abandon me, like my mother did. I didn't give you permission. Is this what you call love? If it is, then I'll never believe in love. Ever! Prince! King Laharal, do you despise me? Despise you? Of course I do, you bastard! Kill you. I'll kill you! This is my punishment. I willingly accept it. Okay, so... Uh, I just so happen to remember that tiny... Oh, oh my god, this map is tiny. Um, okay, that's, this is gonna be fun. Uh, so you have punchies, you have spears, you have axes, you have swords, and you have bows. Okay, well that's fun. That's a fun time. Um, yeah, he's level 90. This is gonna be a bit of a toughie. Uh, okay. He, uh, I think I remember. He doesn't, unless I get inside of his range, he doesn't do anything. So, what I am going to do is I am going to uh, put some people like here and prepare. <laughs> Kind of stinks because now I don't have. Uh, put him there. Uh, so now Their resistances. Oh, yeah, he's weak to ice. Yes. Strong ice, neutral, 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 weak. Okay. Okay, so you're only you're the only one. You're gonna be a bit of a bitch. But I think I can deal with you. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take one in. Another goddamn phone call. And I'm back. Okay. And I clicked it off of the game. Great. Okay, there it is. And now I want to defend with everybody. Um, defend with you. Whatever I did. That requires an end. Okay, so those two are. Die. Die. Okay. That is fine. In all honesty, that is.
super low on health. Almost killed him. Yeah, that's good. What? He oh. moved? Oh shit, he's in, he's in range. Fuck. Damn it. That is not good whatsoever. Okay. This bumps everything, but I kind of want to make it so he can't really attack. He's using a monster weapon. Um, okay. Uh, I could use this to boost everyone's stats. God, that's not 50%. That's like zero. That is like a zero percent. Fifty percent should not oh. roll that way. Die. 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 Going so well, too. Okay. Die. Stick to attack. Die. Fuck. Okay. Take you out. Actually, I should have put other stuff on him. Oh. Okay. 
die. Should be able to pull it off. If that killed. Okay. So how many items do I have? I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, eight. I have essentially eight, nine fall heals. Almost. And so long as he does not kill me blatantly. myself here, that way he can't, uh, get a back attack on me. Although... Okay. Could put myself in a different oh. corner. And of course he does more damage to me like this. You're weak to ice. I can't do anything about that. Let's see this. Only does seven points. So it's... That was essentially a waste. Come over here. There's that one. Great. Good to know oh. that. Just keep the damage. Oh. Can you just stop? Because I don't think I have enough items to survive this. To, like, survive through all this. Because I blame missing that many 50% chances. Like, there, there comes a point where that's not a 50% chance. Like, th that's a bullshit amount. Okay. Huh. End turn. See, if he hits me from the huh. front, that's when I counter, and that's when it's dangerous. Because if he counters one too many times, then I'm done. But if I hit him from the back, then I might be able to eat it out. Oh, damn it. God damn it. Fucking AI. Okay. Um. D4. Okay, I'm gonna have to come back at a different point in time. Um, you know, I'm just gonna I'm gonna try again, but this time, not aggro as soon as possible. And let's see where it goes. Sanctuary. Yes, I want to skip this toy sequence. Get the Harl. How, how far is this from? I wasn't even in his range that one time, I don't think. Is he just auto move? The Harl. Etna. Planair. Ernest. Hogmizer.
probably not weak to ice anymore. Yet is strong to great. Strong, weak, strong, weak, neutral, neutral, great. So most of the people are now strong against ice. Which makes Ernest essentially useless. Testament is just a great overall thing that boosts everything. But his armor and shoes, his defense is really high. His attack is also high. I'm looking up his stats. Yes, got it first try. Oh my god. Damn it, phone. Stop.
that was more of a 50-50 shot. Okay. And I wanted to heal him up, so I'm hoping that these people don't get auto-killed, because if I need to, I'll just pick these guys up so they can't attack next turn. She doesn't count her. So I can just move away. Use an item. Only the Harl has the good counter. So which 
honestly makes this a lot easier. Because the worry before was that he would just counter and kill himself, which is exactly what he did. Um, but this, I can just take turns switching off between the two characters. Because he doesn't seem to, unless there's a group of people, he doesn't seem to do an AoE attack. Honestly, I'll wait a Because she can survive another one of those. Because she doesn't counter. Avalanche. Behind him. Okay, this is taking a lot longer than I thought it would. I figured, oh look, I know, I know what's gonna happen. I can I can do it. I'll just do the strats I did when I played it when I was like 12 years old. Nope. Okay, now I have to. I don't, even, I don't even think I used healing items when I was younger. I think I just grinded so much because my attention span was so goddamn big when I was a kid. Because that's always the thing as a kid. Like, you can just drop hundreds of hours of games, like tens of hours into, like, one game just because that's, like, the one game you got for Christmas or some other thing. But when you're an adult, it's just like, I have so many games, like, Steam is great. Or I have other stuff to do. Like, I have a job. I have to do school stuff. Okay. I'm gonna move him. And then I'm over here. Surely working through this hellhole of a still want to move out of the way. Still hellhole of a level. Let's let's bump that thing up. Okay. And I do like his spray. Like it's a cool spray. <laughs> like it has all that lightning effect going around it. And it has like that odd shadow sometimes. It's a good spray. Especially like an old time one. Although I think it is odd, because when you think of sprites, you think of, like, oh yeah, like, you don't, you don't have to work very hard with them. It's, just, it's a sprite. Like a Pokemon sprite. They last a long time. They, uh, they withhold throughout the, uh, test of time, as most say. I think you look at, like, the old Pokemon games, and you get this guy five versus this, and you're like, eh, eh. <laughs> They definitely did get better. <laughs> okay. This 
dude is just really feeling the tech now. I'm, I'm not angry about that. I'm not angry one bit. I would rather he attack at Lara, because Lara does more damage than him. Oh, what the hell? Random over 1,000 hit. But, 1,200, that's the important thing. Because if he had done an amount of damage that would have consumed me in terms of being worried about her not surviving, then I would have healed him. Finally got a bonus gauge. Okay. So we're looking at about three more turns. Oh, okay. negative for me. I don't do nearly enough damage for it to be a positive. <laughs> it is only hazardous to my ability to beat the stage if I counter. Ugh. Which is an odd thing, because you're all, generally, you're always like, oh yeah, I want, I want to counter, I want to counter. But in this, it's like, no, I don't want to counter. <laughs> I would very much like to not counter. That is exactly what I would like to not do. Yes! Oh my god, did it. I'm not sure how much uh, speeding up I'm gonna have to do. What's the matter, Prince? I've had enough of this. Huh? It's not like this will bring her back. Besides, if that love freak was here, she would have stopped me anyway. What is this? A tear? Hmm. I never knew I could shed tears. Etna. Yes? I leave the rest to you. What are you planning on doing? You're not planning on... I think I finally understand why my mother sacrificed herself to save me. You want to exchange your life for hers? Is that even possible? Who knows? But this is the least I can do for her now. Harley! Farewell. Wait! What do you want now? As you can see, I'm busy. We'll call this your victory, so don't bother me. I am glad that you have come to terms with your mother's decision. You should thank your companions for teaching you the importance of love and friendship. What? Do not throw away the life that your mother gave you. Here, look. Indeed you were. You are no longer an angel trainee. Now you are a fallen angel. What the? Flan! Your wings! I'm... I'm... <laughs> that is the punishment she received from Seraph Lamington. What? 
Then he wasn't gonna kill her in the first place? Of course not. She is a very important person, not only to Celestia, but to the Netherworld as well. What is that supposed to mean? Celestia and the Netherworld were not always in opposition. Seraph Lamington and another person of influence dreamed of reuniting them. He sent Angel Trainee Flan to the Netherworld to begin bridging the gap between the two worlds. Laharl, Flan, you are the knot that binds the two worlds together. We're the knot? <laughs> I am sure that one day you will understand. Tell me, who are you really? Why do you know so much? <laughs> Have I not told you before? I am the Dark Adonis. My presence here is merely coincidence. Become a magnificent overlord, Laharl. Huh. You don't have to tell me. I'll build a legacy even greater than my old man's. <laughs> Farewell. So yeah, uh, Disgaea is a pretty damn good game. Uh, so in the ending that you get if you kill even one of your enemies, uh, Laharl does sacrifice himself. And I believe he does kill Lamington. Um, and what happens is he, uh, he becomes a printy that you hear in the end credits. Uh, and I'm not sure whether or not that, that's like the canon ending, uh, because there is a Disgaea D2, so I have to imagine that this ending is the canon one. Um, and yeah, you can tell that, oh, throughout the game, like, oh, yeah, King Drevskoy's voice sounds like the Dark Adonis, sort of, when... Uh, and it's like, oh, okay, cool, because he is. It was his spirit, because both of Laharl's parents were able to come back in, like, spirity forms, although his mom did have to go as a printy for a while. Although, they don't say at what age Laharl got sick. That's the thing. Like, you assume that it was when he was quite young, so could have well been over like a thousand years or like 800 years that uh, his mom was a printing and waited until uh, uh yeah and there's flan in her uh, fallen angel form which is the form that she keeps throughout every game appearance from this point on i believe um but yeah his mom could have been a printing for quite a while uh, before being purified um and Longinus was in the original game. It was just weird because I'd never seen him before. I'd never talked to him. Um, yeah, so Disgaea, it's a very solid game. It's very... I, I think it's quite fun. Of course, like, there's the annoyance of the grinding in this game versus future ones is a bit harder because they were just putting it out there and stuff like that. Oh, there's Aramis. Uh, and some angels, I guess. I don't know. It's weird. Um... And, like, the, just having it be the first game, you can definitely give it some leeway. Because it's like, okay, you're figuring things out. Like, grinding uh, isn't, like, the most... F isn't fast. You have to work very hard to grind in this game. Like, to get... I remember at one point, to get a level uh, while I was grinding in between episodes near the end, I had to just... I had to pass the Get Stronger Bill a couple times, and then I would have to use... Slayer, the 3x3 three three grid, and I would have to go through the map like one or two times each time to get a level on the Harl, and it would just be, it would be so annoying because of how, uh, like, unexpedited it was, because I, I didn't feel like going into the Iron World for the sake of this playthrough and grinding st statisticians to get 300 of them to boost it up. And I also didn't feel like grinding enough so I could go into the Cave of Ordeals so I could use that to grind. Because at that point I think I would have already been a little too far. Uh, so I feel like I uh, I was pretty lucky that I got the uh, Stealing Hand that really allowed me to beat the beat this game. Because if I didn't take the uh, 
testament off, off of uh, Lamington, then I most likely would never have been able to beat that boss unless I grinded a bit, like quite a bit more, because the, his ads were one hitting some of my characters. Hey, look, the Harlan Lamington shaking hands like bros. Oh, I respect you, and I respect you because we did not kill each other. Good, good. Although it's quite odd how before the battle, Lamington is like, I accept my punishment, and then he proceeds to just curb stomp your like entire team. It's just like, ugh, <laughs> you bastard. Why are you doing this? Um, yeah, this game has, I think it's like five or six different endings. There's like the ending we got, which is the best one for not killing anybody. And there's the normal one where uh, essentially if you don't meet the best ending uh, conditions, you get that one. Um, then there's you kill a whole bunch of people endings, and you, uh, uh, and then you, I believe, you get a specific ending for if you kill Hogmiser and if you kill uh, Madeiras. Uh, and then there's also the ending if you lose to uh, mid boss at any point. Um, there's also a human world ending because if you pass a a um, a bill called the human world. Which I could have, but it's after you fight, or it's after uh, what's his face leaves. Carter leaves. You can pass the bill to go essentially chase him down on Earth, and you uh, find him, and I believe you kill him, and then you get the human world ending, which I've never gotten. But you can just uh, look those up on YouTube and you'll probably find them real quick. They're probably like five years old at this point or more, because this game is old. I'm just assuming when someone would have posted it. Yeah, I like how there's just like, quite a bit of endings, uh, and if you, uh, for the sake of speeding up this playthrough, I did uh, turn off like all the effects and whatnot, and I'm sure the effects would have been very cool to watch, but if you want to see them, I'm sure there are like, compilation videos of every move being used. And that was uh, Disgaea, and there's the pendant that Flan presumably had that would uh, tell you whether or not your heart was wicked. Uh... Save data can be carried over to the next cycle. Yeah, I'll save. I'll save right there. And with that, I am done with this guy uh, PC. So, I hope you have all enjoyed this ride with me. Uh, I know this is uh, being uh, uh, alternated, I'm pretty sure, with uh, the Digimon uh, LP. So it doesn't come out as regularly. But, uh, I hope you all enjoyed it, and I do plan to play Disgaea 2 PC at some point in the future. It might be my next one after this, I'm not sure, because there's always a break in between, uh, my LPs. Not because I want to, I wanted this to be an LP where I could, uh, where I could, uh, um, get feedback from you guys and whatnot, but unfortunately due to time constraints and my ability to record videos at, only at my house, um, I kind of have to do them all in big chunks and I want to, I don't want to leave a game half done because then I'll forget what I was doing, although in this game you don't really have to worry about that. Um, so I, I might play Sky 2 next or I might find a different game, I might do some one-offs or just short series, because most of my games take at least, <laughs> like, 20, 30-ish parts. Like, this one took, I think, like, 32, um, including the Etna mode portion. Um, so with that, I hope you all have a very nice day, and will join me in the next series. Bye.